Next question is from Mr. James J. Cho. Is it common for one side's leg muscles and hip flexor to be tighter than the other? Yeah, very, it's, it's very common. It's more common than to have them both be the same. You know, that's for sure. It's right. pretty, it's 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 actually rare to have both sides be identical. Right. In flexibility, it, it just you know, you sit a particular way, yeah. you might move a particular way. I know for me, crossing my legs, I can tell one side is always a little tighter uh, than the other. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and now this is a good thing to know because now you can work on balancing uh, them out. You can work on improving the mobility of the side that's tight, and you can do exercises that encourage uh, balance. So if this is you and it's a big deal then I would do split stance or yes. unilateral exercise. Unilateral, yeah. I was just going to say that's probably the move with this is to really refocus and kind of bring that more in the programming of what you're doing to really address a lot of this instability or something that's looming there that's causing, uh, you know, this tightness where the body feels like it needs to, uh, you know, brace and protect around, uh, you know, these joints. I think this is so common that I would make the case that I think Everybody is this way, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't I mean don't yeah, we're you, all dominant in one side, right? Like nobody is. There's nobody that is perfectly symmetrical. There's nobody. There's nobody that their whole left side is exactly the same strength, size, everything, length, limb, ever, all those things are. Nobody is perfectly symmetrical. So when you do something that's bilateral, like a squat, where both feet on the ground and you drop down into that. It's very natural that the dominant, the stronger side is going to take over a little bit of the movement, even if it's subconsciously and you can't see it. It's just, you know, a little bit of the energy and strength is going to come from that side. And the more of it that you have, the more obvious it'll be by how tight you are on that. And the key for all of us, I think, is becoming aware of that and then knowing when you go into your workout. So not only are you addressing it with things like, you know, south myofascial release and doing mobility work, and but you're also thinking about it when you're doing these exercises now, like, oh, wow, if I'm always in my, so in my case, it's my left side, right? So uh, I have a tendency to want to shift my weight over to the left side in a squat. Now it's so subtle that the average eye wouldn't be able to see it, but I know of it because of how I'm always tighter and worse on that side. So when I drop down in that squat, I'm really thinking about that, making sure that I'm trying to give equal effort on the opposite side, in addition to, of course, the, the other work.